I am definitely a little late to the party on this one, but I had other sh** to do this morning. Bone Lab just came out with a new release trailer, and this is going to be a breakdown of that release trailer. I hope you enjoy. Alright buddy's too short, he's got a stump dick. we understand, can't reach the battery. But, he's got a little arm attachment to change between different avatars on the fly to solve puzzles. Okay, that's, that's kind of an amazing game mechanic. So I'm getting the feeling we're going to have to change between different builds, aka different avatars, in order to accomplish some of these puzzles. I also couldn't help but notice that as soon as he changed to that different avatar, he had a different weapon instantly. So maybe we will also be able to have custom loadouts for each avatar that we have. And those are purple enemies. <laughs> This is happening really fast. I need to pause. Okay, purple enemies. Those are brand new enemies, dude. Those are looking fucking nice. Dude, the lighting in this looks so fucking good. I can't even right now. Okay, all right. He's on like a conveyor belt. Trying to run, can't really run. He's like a in the mud. Is he stuck? Okay, but he changes his avatar. All right, that's dope. See, exactly, dude. He changed to a lighter avatar, a woman with some big old fat melons, <laughs> just so that he could run through that conveyor belt. Damn, this is cool. This is so cool, dude. Oh my gosh. New gun. That's definitely a new gun. Okay. Ka-chow. We have a new weapon. See, I'm assuming that's like a strength build. Like that door would have been too heavy for him to actually open up unless he switched to the strength build avatar. Damn, bro, that thing absolutely fucking just smashes people. What the hell? All right, change to another avatar. Maybe an avatar with some fucking hops is what I'm is what I'm thinking. He's gonna have to change to strength build again, brother. I knew it. Oh my gosh. This is amazing, dude. I really, I really, really like the way that they're using this mechanic in the game. You having to change to different avatars in order to accomplish different goals. See, and I really can't tell. Does he have a custom loadout as soon as he changes to that different avatar? That's a, I'm wondering. Because I think that would be pretty cool. You can just you can just have custom loadouts for each avatar and change instantly on the fly. Alright, well, gameplay looks really nice. Shooting looks fun. I'm not surprised. You're gonna beat the f out of somebody with a pipe, okay? <laughs> Oh, damn. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. So, that was the trailer, boys. And I wrote some notes. I'm going to go through real nice and quick, like, okay? So, what we just saw was that you're going to get an arm attachment to change between different avatars on the fly. There's new purple enemies. There's a new SMG weapon. I think that was an SMG. There's a new weapon. <laughs> Different avatars can have different strength levels, different weights, running speeds, they can be taller, shorter, and that all will play into how you can solve the puzzles in the game. Also, I'm not completely sure about this one, but it seemed like you would instantly get a different weapon loadout as soon as he changed between avatars. So I'm just going to assume that you can give each avatar a custom weapon loadout. 
that would be really dope that's just me speculating but i'm not really sure and last but not least bone lab is coming out this next thursday on september 29th so i hope you guys are fucking ready dude <laughs> anywho that concludes this video um i hope you guys are as pumped as i am bye